there are six things you absolutely must do to your heating system right now to save energy costs and keep your heating system running smoothly. I'll now show you what these six things are. Especially if your heating doesn't get warm, you should make sure that it is also set to heating mode and not just hot water mode as I did here. You can see exactly how this works for you in the operating instructions for your heating system. However, this is also the error that occurs most often when the heating does not heat up properly. To save energy, most heating systems have an integrated timer where you can set when the heating should run, when it should be off, and the same for hot water. Here you can set for each individual day when the hot water should start running and when the heating should be switched on. If this is activated, it could be that the times are set slightly incorrectly and that's why it's not getting warm in your home. In this case, you should of course always make sure that you have set the general time on the heating correctly because if this is not the case, it won't get warm at the right times in the first place. Especially if the time has been changed, you should therefore look at your operating instructions and check the whole thing once. The next thing you should definitely do on your radiator is to set the thermostat to the highest setting. For me, that's 5. Now grab a pair of water pump pliers and loosen the nut you see behind the thermostat once to the left. Now you can unscrew it completely by hand until you have the entire thermostat in your hand. This will give you access to this small pin. And this is particularly important if you switch on your heating but it doesn't get really warm. Because in most cases, this pin simply gets stuck. Of course, this happens particularly often after the summer period. This is because the heating is not used during this period and the pin can simply get stuck over time. To loosen it, you can take a hammer or something similar and push it in and out a few times. If this does not help, you can also tap the side very carefully with a hammer. However, you should only do this very carefully so that you don't damage anything. What is also very helpful is to use some WD-40. You can spray this carefully around the side of the pen. A very small amount is enough. Then wait about 10 minutes. In most cases, it will loosen the whole thing. Now you can go around again with the hammer and push the pin in and out a few times to loosen it a little more. Now turn the thermostat back up and tighten it carefully with the water pump pliers. You've repaired your radiator yourself and spent zero euros on it. But did you know that you can easily remove the grill on your radiator? I'll show you how helpful this can be in a moment. To do this, you should either look at the side. If there is a clip here, you can usually pull it to the side and open the whole thing. If there isn't one, you can push the side panels upwards and then pull them to the side as I did here. Now you can easily remove the heating grill and this has a huge advantage because you can clean the heater from the inside. Of course you can only clean the upper layers with a vacuum cleaner but it is important to also completely remove dust from the inner fins of the heater as these have a significant effect on the heating result. Place a towel underneath. You can also make it slightly damp so that the dust sticks directly to the towel. Now grab a hairdryer and run it through the entire heating fins to blow the dust downwards. But it works even better with a radiator brush as this really does remove all the dust in your heating system. It is designed so that you can push it through the entire fins. The fibers cause the dust to stick to it and you also push it downwards where you only have to vacuum it away at the end and everything is removed again. If you are interested in such a radiator brush, you will find the link in the video description below. And for the next thing, you should set all your radiators to the highest setting, starting with the radiators closest to your main heating system. Now, once you've set them all to the highest setting, go down to your main heating system or circulation pump and switch it off once. Because we want to achieve something very special. If you are also familiar with your heating not getting really warm or starting to gurgle over time, then you have the following problem. You have air in your radiators and this also means that you are wasting a lot of energy. In addition, as I said, the heating doesn't get really warm, which is of course particularly annoying. But what you can do about this is to bleed the heating. Once you have taken the steps just mentioned, you should wait about 30 minutes as all the air is now collecting at the top of the radiators. Now go to this screw and open it either with a bleed wrench or in my case with a screwdriver. But make sure you hold a cup or bowl underneath. The first thing that comes out of this little hole is a whole lot of air. Yet, We also want to achieve this so that all the air can escape from the radiators. You should now leave it open until water comes out after the air 
because only then will all the air be out of this radiator. Now close the valve again and follow this procedure on all your radiators. Start with the radiator that is furthest away from your heating system. Once you have done this for all of them, you can go back to your main heating system and switch it on. Now you have ensured that you can save a lot of energy. However, there is one thing that most people forget. You should now make sure that you have enough pressure on your heating system. If there is not enough pressure, you will need to top up the water. You can find out how much pressure your heating system should have in the operating instructions. This may vary slightly depending on the manufacturer. If you are unsure, you should consult a tradesman. I'll show you how I refill the water in my heating system in the video you can now see on the screen. Watch it directly so that you know how it could work for you too.